how's up halo fans and welcome back to the halo infinite news channel boy this is we have an interesting story for you guys today this is our first real lore video our first real dive into halo lore or story here before the halo infinite release here on this channel i'm a huge fan of lore and games in general and that halo story and universe and lore has always been incredible and this actually pulls from the lore outside the games halo is one of those games that has such incredible lore in such a big universe but the games still have yet to really realize all of that and really integrate it and that's one of the things that 343 has said that they're aiming for with with halo infinite is to both bridge a gap between new players and really really veteran players and, and you know consumers of the media in general but let's get right to the chase here there's a new halo book out called halo point of light it's just came out i have not had a chance to read it myself I don't have a physical copy here to show you, uh, but I'm definitely going to be putting it on my Audible account and now listening soon so I can hear this all for myself firsthand. But there's some major, major lore revelations here. So if you haven't read the book yet and you don't want any spoilers, you know, now's the time to get out. But make sure you subscribe to the channel before you go, like the video, all that stuff. Really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, but if you don't care about spoilers for the book, some of this stuff that what I'm going to focus on directly in this video it could link in the halo infinite in some way i hope it does it definitely is a big thing for the halo universe in general but we're not sure if it's going to link up directly with infinite but it's major major lore for the entire halo universe so if you haven't got out yet if you don't want spoilers uh too bad it's too late we're going to talk about it so i'm going to pull up a little thread on reddit here by the way this was this was pointed out to me by hidden uh zyperia who's another halo youtuber you should go give him some support he kind of summarized this in one of his videos uh, but i'm going to talk about it a little bit based on this reddit thread because again i haven't read the books myself but basically what happens are the characters of halo, of halo point of light they are searching for something called bastion it's a it's a world of some type that they're on the lookout for and uh something a key from the librarian leads to bastion and throughout this book and when they get there um they find out something really crazy so bastion is a shield world just like requiem which was uh the shield world where halo 4 takes place where the didact was was found all that stuff um and it turns out that requiem is basically in a lot of ways a replica of earth itself so kind of a one-of-a-kind shield world and uh what one of the big thing here's the big thing they find on them. they find that stored on bastion were uncorrupted remains of the precursors and this is huge for several reasons the precursors as the name precursor uh kind of alludes to uh were, were really the the original and in inheritance the original uh owners of the mantle of responsibility and you know, they eventually passed it on to uh well they were going to pass it on to the forerunners uh but then they had then decided that the humans were actually uh, the inheritance of the mantle of responsibility, which is what caused the forerunners to a uh, eliminate the precursors and then b uh, become natural enemies of humans, which led us down the path uh, of a very bad path. Because if you don't know all this lore, uh, the the precursors uh, basically one of their one of the kind of in a final act of uh, either irony, fate, uh, revenge. Uh, eventually became what we know as the flood today their their kind of their remnants became corrupted became the first grave mind uh the primordial was a being known as uh you know one of the first grave minds he's in some of the other halo books he she it i don't even know if it has a gender um but but this is this is basically the precursors were the original all-seeing all-knowing alien race of the universe but they were eliminated uh, in a in a massive genocide by the forerunners and i always you know one thing that i always hoped about as a halo fan was that we were going to see more of the forerunners we've seen their architecture we had heard all these mysteries about them then it was like halo 4 came and i really thought we were going to get a lot about the forerunners see more living breathing forerunners and it turns out you know we only saw didact and then you know the uh the composed or digital version of uh, the librarian and i actually thought that halo 4 story it gets a lot of hate but i actually thought it was a good story especially compared to halo 5 but i thought we were going to dive more into the forerunners and it really seems like 
or probably not that really was the end of the forerunners didact apparently was the last living forerunner we're not gonna fight them we're not gonna fight alongside them just they're they're gone so then i always wondered okay are we going to get precursors at any point and it always seemed probably not um you know because the, the they've, they've become what we know as the flood uh which which not at all like what their uh live version was like the the, the flood are highly corrupted and broken down that you know the flood are nothing like what the precursors actually were um you know so i was like okay well can we someday fight the precursors or encounter the precursors you know the primordial can we can we come up find him sometime well this might be the seed of that happening eventually whether it be in a game or in lore way down the road we don't know yet but basically this is what happens in the book um the librarians shield world here uh bastion like i said there's uncorrupted remains of precursors there and in the book it is noted that this ship um it's called eden which was on bastion all these terms it's hard when you haven't read the book uh they had the precursors genetic material there almost like you know a lot of gen genetic material was saved by the forerunners but it wasn't thought that there was precursor genetic material anywhere at the end of the story that precursor genetic material is launched into another galaxy to reseed that galaxy to start life all anew and it's going to start with the precursor so what does that mean you know this is probably it's hard to say if this will ever ever come to fruition because you're going to assume that for the precursors to be reborn form a new galaxy from basically scratch it's probably going to take millennia right like it's highly i highly doubt that we're going to ever see master chief uh come up against the precursors but this does give me hope as a as a halo fan who's very interested in the precursors and the primordial maybe we'll see something more from them uh in the future it seems like this is something this is something you just throw out there if you're not going to do something with it at some point you don't really include this if you're writing the game if you're writing the story so this was deliberately done by you know the people at 343 and the author to set the precursor story on some type of course where does that go I have no idea uh, when will we see it come to fruition of any kind. I have no idea. I'm still holding out hope that there are more living forerunners somewhere, that there's more living precursors somewhere. I kind of get the feeling that there's, there's not, but I'm still holding out, still holding out hope. So let me know what you guys think of this. When do you think we'll see this storyline picked up again with the precursors here kind of being sent out to another galaxy? Um, do you think we'll get it, you know, picked up again or do you think this is just a little putting a little bow on it like a happy ending well the precursors are going to start everything over and uh kind of a little bit of justice uh because of the you know the forerunner genocide against the against the uh precursors that kind of thing um but yeah big big lore here and i've got another piece of uh halo infinite potential halo infinite uh story lore coming in the next video also has to do with point of light so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can catch that video and for all your other Halo Infinite news, come right back here. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next one. Mayor Reynolds out.